in the past. In the past. It's not it is basically triple nation in addition to what I mean. Why are they here? What do they want to learn? This is an operating room for reconstructive microsurgery in Taiwan. The reconstructive microsurgery team led by Dr. Weifu Chen is working hard to repair the defects in a patient's body. Uh, reconstructive microsurgery uh, referred to the reconstruction uh, performed with a operative microscope and also the microsurgical skill and instrument. Reconstructive microsurgery can rebuild the jawbone through the transplantation of another part of the body. It can treat congenital abnormalities, trauma and defects caused by cancer excision. Restoring function and appearance, it can also prevent unnecessary amputations. A reconstructive microsurgery procedure takes 10 hours on average. Dr. Wei's team has performed more than 26,000 reconstructive microsurgeries with a success rate of 97%. This has attracted surgeons of all levels from leading medical centers to Taiwan to learn. In the past 25 years, we have uh, trained a total of more than 1,700 uh, uh, people from 77 countries. In the recent uh, five years, I uh, thank the Minister of Foreign Affairs they have offered a total of 21 you know, fellowship, so that can reflect the aim of our foreign minister helps to help the people or the country in need. The war has been there for four years and counting. Uh, most of the casualties are civilians and uh, uh, the scope of injury is quite diverse that um, necessitates uh, extensive experience and exposure in microsurgery, something you can only achieve here in Taiwan. I've always been driven uh, to learn from the best. Um, at Johns Hopkins, uh, America's number one hospital, that uh, Changgung here in Taiwan is the best in the world. And I came here to be a world-class reconstructive microsurgeon. This is a world-famous center for many reconstructive uh, procedures. Uh, for example, the free fibula flap, toe to thumb transfer. It's also a center of um, innovation. In fact, reconstructive microsurgery techniques developed in Taiwan have helped many Taiwanese and foreign patients start new lives. Our center in Taiwan has been recognized as one of the leading countries in the world for reconstructive microsurgery. And with these very unique resources, and the capability we have. We hope that we can help more people, you know, from different countries. The Taiwanese surgeons are willing to burn out in the operation theater in order to deliver the best they have for their patients. What they're concerned about is to fulfill their, uh, you know, duties and their oath to the patients, and they're willing to fulfill it till the last drop. The, you know, uh, the dignity that you help patients to maintain. You feel that it's very worthwhile of spending more time. We like to spread this kind of knowledge and the technique to every corner of the world when they need 